During the darkest days of World War II, British Prime Minister Winston Churchill stirred the spirit of his country and the world with defiant speeches broadcast over radio, sometimes delivered from his bunker in central London. Eight decades later, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is doing the same with selfie videos. The leaders and civilians of Ukraine are using their phones and social media to shine a light on the horrors of the Russian invasion and to rally international support. Vladimir Putin, meanwhile, is hoping to keep his country in the dark. NBC foreign correspondent Molly Hunter has our Sunday focus from Lviv, Ukraine. The shock and horror of the war in Ukraine delivered instantly to the palm of your hand. A rallying cry to the Ukrainian people and the world. Thousands of men and women of all ages, so many with no military training now heading to the front lines, have become viral sensations. Lots of kids <laughs> And Ukrainian mothers who have chosen not to leave the country, now documenting their daily lives, the so-called Mom News Network. I'm not afraid, you know, I, I'm more afraid to lose my country, my, my people, my, my friends, my relatives. Ukraine's First Lady Olena Zelenska taking to Instagram to galvanize support for her country. But perhaps the most adept at using social media is President Zelensky himself. From day one, he's been posting mostly selfie videos multiple times a day at all hours. Addressing his country, the international community, sometimes President Putin directly, in his office, outside, with his cabinet, but always defiant. He has emerged as a convincing, inspirational wartime leader and a stark contrast to the formal addresses from President Putin on state TV. Back during World War II, dispatches from the front could take days to get out. This is the landing zone. During the Vietnam War, efforts were made to shield the American people from coffins returning home. The 90s ushered in cable news and put the Gulf War in American living rooms. The war in Syria, recorded, meticulously documented all on social media, but didn't hold the world's attention. Nothing like what we're seeing now. I am showing real information. Years later, even more people have access to TikTok, Telegram, YouTube, Instagram, and more. But with greater transparency comes warnings. The Russian government waging a disinformation war, lying on state television, spinning the narrative to present the Ukrainians as the aggressors. Among those fighting back, some Russian oligarchs and their glitzy influencer children. Sofia Abramovich, daughter of billionaire Roman Abramovich, sharing a post that reads, the biggest lie of the Kremlin's propaganda is that most Russians stand with Putin. But it's a battle to break through the noise back at home, and the Kremlin is doing everything to make it as hard as possible to find out the truth. A week after banning Facebook in Russia, the Russian government now plans to shut down Instagram on Monday. And Molly joins me now live from Lviv near the site of that Russian attack overnight. Molly, supplies, power cut off in parts of Ukraine. You are now beginning to see the war up close in the western part of the country. So as we talk about the impact of social media, how is the technology infrastructure holding up? Yeah, Willie, as of now, and that has been, of course, a big worry that many Ukrainian officials have been talking about. As of now, Ukrainian connectivity and Internet is holding up despite a few outages. That connectivity, though, is supplemented by Elon Musk and two shipments of Starlink satellites after Ukrainian officials contacted him. But as of now, the Russians have not been able to dismantle Ukraine's complex Internet system. That is good news for all of us, Willie. That means that images, videos, evidence of what is happening in places that there are no journalists, that I can't be, are reaching the world. The problem is that so little of that is actually breaking through and reaching the Russian people. Willie? Yeah, Putin can't hide that from the world, maybe from his own people, but the world is watching what's happening. Molly Hunter in Lviv, Ukraine. Thank you so much, Molly. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.